Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm really pleased to be here to share my research experience to all of you. Uh, actually, last year, uh, for me, it was a very innovative year because I met a project of innovation, uh, gendered innovation. At the time, it was very familiar with me. Uh, not familiar with me, but uh, however, I had a good chance to participate in a project of gendered innovation in science and engineering in Korea, especially in nutritional epidemiological field. Uh, that brings me here today. Uh, my research interest is how to develop and implement valid dietary assessment method for research. Now I'm going to talk about sex gender analysis for specific part portion size to improve validity of food frequency questionnaire, one of the dietary assessment tools. Uh, as you know, diet is a very critical factor related to non-communicable disease such as cancer, which is the leading cause of death worldwide. For better understanding diet disease relationship, the development of valid dietary assessment tools is very important. One of the tools, FFQs, is the most widely used dietary assessment method in large nutritional epidemiological studies. Uh, do you know what, is the, what the FFQ is? Uh, in this picture, uh, interviewer is asking subject how many cheeseburger eaten during a specific period using FFQ. Like this picture, we can estimate user intake uh, using FFQ, FFQ by asking average intake frequencies and portion size of specific food items during the reference period, usually one year. This is one of FFQ, especially this space developed by my colleagues for Korean diet and cancer research in 2011. FFQ consists of three parts like this, dish items, part frequency part, portion size part. First step, we can ask subject uh, frequency and participant can choose the frequency range of this and second step, asking amount of the food. So participants can choose among small, medium, and large portion size. After that, we can estimate daily energy and nutrient intake by multiplying daily consumption frequency and the amount of portion size. Therefore, the dietary intake estimate by FFQs depends on the food items and portion size selected on FFQ. Uh, usually between men and women, types of food and, uh, or amount of food consumed are very different because biological and social economical uh, difference. However, sex gender factors are rarely considered uh, for developing FFQ. Uh, through the literature review, in terms of selection of food items or portion size on FFQ, only less than 10% studies consider uh, considering sex factor in the last 30 years. Therefore, focusing on only portion size, the purpose of this study for accurate estimation of nutrient intake uh, is to reanalyze sex and gender specific portion size of each dish item from dish based FFQ developed for Korean diet and cancer research. Uh, the method is analysis sex and gender factor. We, sorry. we used the same data set of original dish based FFQ. They were two-day, 24-hour liquid data about, of about 6,500 others aged over 30 from Korean National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey data. And the uh, sex and gender-specific portion size were 
calculated as the median intake of food items by each sex group. And uh, for items with, the, with more than one dish, the weight median intakes were recalculated based on the intake frequency of each dish, considering sex and gender. Among the dish items, the 84% items portion size were different. Among these, 62% items were larger in males, and 22% are larger in females. Uh, this table shows items with a portion size larger in male. Uh, for example, the portion size of deep fried sea mustard is very so Korean food. <laughs> of male is over four times compared to women's. And the difference of other two items below were over 10, over 100%. In addition, compared with the portion size of original FFQ, the, the sex gender specific portion size had a big difference. This is for women. This, the difference of grilled shrimp, kale, and stir fried kimchi dish were over 100 and also were significantly different with the original portion size. Uh, after applying sex and gender specific weights, the portion size of all these items with more than one were different between men and women. Uh, this table shows the difference of frequency weights by sex for dishes. Uh, some of them, uh, the difference among dishes tend to, tended to be larger in females, uh, but others, the difference among dishes tended to be larger in males. So we identified that the frequency rates among the dishes were a significant different, uh, has a significant sex and gender difference. Uh, as a further study, after collecting this based FFQ, we examined difference of daily energy and micronutrient intakes among others age over 30. Uh, in, in male subjects, energy, fat, and carbohydrate intakes increase after collecting. And in female subjects, even though there, there is no difference in energy intake, but uh, protein and fat intakes had to significantly change it. Uh, so these results suggest that, I think, uh, analysis of sex and gender specific portion size on FFQ will lead to estimate accurate nutrient intake for women as well as for men. And will improve validity in dietary assessment tools for diet and disease relationship. And further, for next step, FFQ using large nutrition epidemiological studies should be re-examined considering sex and gender factor, as well as considering gender factor for developing a PEPQ. So I'm sure that this research is very initial, uh, initial and basic step, but uh, to provide science evidence for importance of gender and sex factor, uh, and inspiration for other research field. <laughs> and I would like to acknowledge it to my former uh, advisor, Dr. Peck, and my colleague. And this research was supported by uh, YSET, uh, Women in Science, Engineering, and Technology in Korea. Thank you for attention.